as I read about Jesus in the gospel today, walking to Jerusalem with 12 of his disciples, I was reminded of the band of brothers, a brotherhood of soldiers and their walk as they faced the prospect of death and the ravages of war. As Jesus shared his faith with his band of brothers, I began to ask myself, what could be going on in the minds of the Twelve? What was their reaction to what Jesus was telling them about what was to happen to him and to them? Did James and John hear what Jesus said? One must wonder if they did by what they asked of Jesus. They were looking for special consideration, a place of prominence. And the other ten were outraged. One could almost imagine the ten asking James and John, What's wrong with you men? Didn't you hear him? And I could also imagine John's and James saying, what do you mean? Didn't Jesus tell us we could ask for anything in his name and he would grant it to us? So what's wrong with you men? And Jesus took in the exchange between his young followers and he explained more fully to James and John what their request would involve. He then spoke separately to the tent and made clear what expectations he had of them. One has to remember that these were new recruits. They were not seasoned disciples. It is said of St. Philip Neri, whose feast we celebrate today, that growing up in Cassino, Italy, where St. Benedict and his band of brothers resided, that Philip drank deeply of Benedictine spirituality. His drinking deeply of Benedict's spirituality of prayer and work seasoned him. For some, St. Philip Neri would come to be seen as the second apostle, apostle rather, to Rome after St. Paul. He healed thousands in the confessional, and he comforted and directed countless others. You know, with the passage of time, James, John, and the Ten would also deeply drink of the spirituality of Jesus. And they would go on to influence their own countless thousands, converting them to Christ. When we choose to drink deeply of Christ's spirituality, those things that Sirach prayed for us today in that first reading, they'll become ours. God will give us new signs and work new wonders. The light of God's mercy will rest upon us and God will give evidence of his deeds of old, walking with us today as he walked in the company of his band of brothers on their way to Jerusalem. <laughs>